Let's make the perfect pot of masala chai. Hi everyone and welcome back to Pema's Kitchen. I am Serena and today, yes, we're making masala chai. Homemade, cannot be compared to anything store-bought. So I hope you really try this recipe out. First, I'm adding all of my whole spices. I've got cinnamon, star anise, cloves, cardamom, which is my lachi, and some peppercorn black peppercorn and we're just going to toast all of our spices up and then we're going to start grinding them together with the rest of my ingredients to make the perfect cup of chai when you have a moment kindly go through my series on spices and you will learn about the benefits of star anise cinnamon cloves cardamom and ginger garlic the rest of the spices we use in our everyday cooking and I personally love to include all of these spices in my teas as well. First, I'm cleaning my fresh ginger. I find it very easy to clean it with a spoon. You can pop it into the fridge prior to cleaning. The skin does come off very easily. And I also find that when using a spoon, there is definitely less wastage as well. Please do check out the benefits of ginger. They are so amazing and I hope you incorporate it into your teas and your food. Once you've done peeling your ginger, you can then roughly chop it up. We are going to further grind it with the rest of our spices. And if you want your tea, your chai to be a little extra spicy, you can then easily add, according to your preference, a little extra ginger will make it spicier. Let's grind all of our whole spices that has been toasted. I'm also adding my fresh ginger. And while I'm fast forwarding, I just want to explain as you are pounding on your spices together with your ginger, use a teaspoon and mix it around and then continue to pound and this will ensure that most of your spices are evenly ground. Next, I'm adding a touch of nutmeg. That's ground nutmeg and it's approximately a quarter teaspoon. Mix everything together and our spice mixture is basically ready. We can now start boiling our water. And I'm making two very strong cups of masala chai today. So first I've added 250 milliliters to 300 milliliters of water. And I like to go half and half. So almost the same ratio of water to milk. Next, ensure your water is hot before you add all of your ground spices. And once you've added all of your spices, allow it to slightly simmer in your water so it releases all those flavors. And it only needs a few seconds before you add your tea leaves or your tea bags. And there's no right tea bag or tea leaf to use. Use whatever you prefer. Sometimes I use my regular five roses and sometimes I use tea leaves. It depends entirely on you. You can even use green tea if you wish. Again, allow your tea bags or tea leaves to steep in the hot water together with all of your ground spices. And once you've given it that time, you can then proceed to add your sweetener of choice. And once you've added your sweetener, again, make sure you mix and allow everything to dissolve. I feel like each and every step is so important. 
If you ultimately want that fragrant cup of chai, these tips are really what makes it happen. I'm now ready to add my milk. And you can add any milk of your choice, oat milk, almond milk, evaporated milk, fresh milk, whatever your preference is. I do add approximately 250 to 300 milliliters of milk as well. Mix again and turn up your heat slightly. We want to now bring everything to boil. You can also leave out your water and make a completely milk tea. That's also very yummy. You can play around and experiment with the spices. Right now, don't look away and don't walk away. This is my favorite part when the boiling happens and all the bubbles start to rise. And this is when most accidents happen. We don't want to spill all over. So watch it carefully. And this is also a very important part. All the steeping, all of the boiling now, all of the bubble formation. This is bringing everything together to make that fabulous cup of chai. So as the bubbles start to rise and when it reaches the top, you can then switch off you are now ready to strain so i am straining directly into my teapot i do have a diffuser so it's not necessary but for the purposes of the video i just want to go through it with you once you've added most of your tea and you rift with the residue in your strainer all of that delicious spices needs a final tug so you can use the back of your spoon and ensure that all those delicious flavors are also strained through. You are now ready to serve and with a good old fashioned aeration of your tea, you can now enjoy one of the yummiest cups of masala chai. You will never buy store-bought premixes again all of the spices i use today can be used exclusively on its own if you want that predominant flavor for example a cardamom chai a lachi chai is one of my favorites you also have clove tea there's so many variations and ways to enjoy your cup of tea so try to experiment with your spices and let me know if you try it as usual, all the ingredients used will be found in the drop down description below. Please subscribe. Kindly hit the notification bell so you are notified when a new video is uploaded. Please like and share and your kind comments are always welcome. See you again soon in Paymas Kitchen. I am Selena. Have a beautiful day.